As the world becomes more connected, it's not just your computer that's at risk of cyber attack. Hackers can open your garage door or even take remote control of your vehicle. The entry point for any attack is the radio key of the car. We can find the signal, copy it, and then open the car and start it. With a couple of cheap bits of equipment, anyone can override the navigation system of a car. This receptor costs 25 euros from any online vendor. While this costs 90 euros, it can emit and receive. Currently, there are more than 20 billion connected objects in the world. And there will be more than 75 billion by 2025. These devices, known as the Internet of Things, could be weak spots in the cities of the future. The French authorities have identified 249 key services that could be affected, including energy and transport sectors. Airbus Cybersecurity works to prevent these kind of attacks by simulating potential threats. We have a simulation platform that enables us to recreate, very realistically, the network of a business. From there, we can simulate attacks and show how to defend against them with the tools we put in place. The National Agency for the Security of Information Systems ensures key services are protected in France. If there's a cyber attack, they send a team on the ground to help the organization that's at risk. It's important to foresee the worst-case scenario. If your system is attacked and you can't access it, you have to know what to do. Did you safeguard the information? Could you continue working on an alternative system? How can you get back to functioning normally? That's a real change of mentality. The ability to bounce back quickly after a cyber attack is known as cyber resilience. It's the latest challenge in the realm of cybersecurity, where risks are multiplying. In 2010, the Stuxnet virus, created by the NSA and Israel, was used to damage Iran's nuclear program, opening a Pandora's box for modern warfare.